Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today we're going to be talking about Festival of the Lost. How do you start Festival of the Lost? Where do you go? And uh, I'm going to walk through the intro mission for the festival. So for me it's E and I'm going to go here and it says visit Eva in the Tower Courtyard for Festival of the Lost. Alright, we are in the tower here. Let's walk up to Eva right beside the tree in the center. I'm going to skip through all the dialogue, but I'm just going to show you guys the quest steps. So she's saying hi. We're going to pick up our quest here for the festival mask. All right, so we pick a mask. It doesn't matter which one you pick, really. Um, so I'm going to go through and just pick an arc one. Um, if you want, you can definitely go through and purchase all of these bounties. And then let's get on to the next quest step. Okay, so we're going to open up our map. Let me open up our map. We're going to go to the quest tab here. And we're going to hover over this. Complete an activity while wearing a Festival of the Lost mask to acquire spectral pages and pick up candy from defeated combatants. Okay, so I will have just played me completing a heroic public event. And for that one, I got three spectral pages. A quick note here, um, editing the video, you can complete public events, but you can also complete a playlist activity. If you complete a playlist activity, you should get your three spectral pages and you can progress your quest that way as well. So if we look at our quest here, after you get the three spectral pages and the candy, it says enter a haunted sec uh, sector via the node in your director. So we go ahead and go to the tower here. And once you have completed that quest step, so once you do a public event to get your spectral pages and your candy, then you'll see this playlist in the tower. So we're simply going to now go to this playlist here. And it is, you know, match made so we can just jump in. Okay, so for the first part of this quest here, all we're going to do is simply run around and capture points. Every time that you capture a point, you will summon a headless one. So we'll see on the left hand side there that you summon nine headless ones total, but it gives you around five minutes to be able to summon them all and kill them. Uh, it does look like we have to wait till the end of the timer on the left hand side. And by summoning all of the headless ones, you can see a message in the uh, middle left hand side of my screen there that says all spectral pages manifested. So that means that I've we've gotten all nine and we're simply waiting for the next stage of the event. As far as what weapons I recommend for this, the Fallen Guillotine is incredible uh, for this type of thing where you're killing a ton of like mini bosses. And um, I would also recommend the Wither Horde if you do have it. If you're a free to play player or you don't have those weapons, then rocket launchers and grenade launchers would be very, very good. So it looks now like we have a boss here. Um, he has a shield, so let's go ahead and try to summon some headless ones and see if we can get something from them to be able to fight the shield. So seemingly they drop a bunch of loot and they also drop pumpkins. And you can pick up these pumpkins and then throw them at the boss. Once you do that, it will disrupt the shield. So now we've done a certain amount of damage to the boss, so we have to get more pumpkins. And there's one over here. So we have to get more pumpkins and then we can simply pick this up and we can throw it at the boss. Uh, I believe you do have to kill the uh, the headless ones to be able to get the pumpkins. So this guy's going to spawn in here. And we'll quickly slap him up. This is why Fallen Guillotine is so good. Because even if they try to knock you back, it won't knock you back. Ah, watch out for those shanks though. Um, okay, so we've done that. We do this another pumpkin right here. We're going to hit him with it. All right. Well, apparently it doesn't matter how many times you die. <laughs> uh, be careful of explosions and things like that. So just hang out and have fun with it. Um, you do get a bunch of loot here. You get a ton of spectral pages uh, for killing everything. You get lots of candy um, and you also get weapons here. Okay, so the next quest step was asking us to go see Eva in the tower. So we're going to speak to her again. Again, I'm going to skip dialogue. But you guys can stop the video and listen to dialogue or read it if you wish. All right, new quest step here. Add your manifest pages into the Book of the Forgotten. Okay, so the Book of the Forgotten is just to the right of Eva here. So you're simply going to walk up to it and interact with it. Whatever that button is on your console. And we will see that I have a bunch of different options here. 
So I'm simply going to go acquire. And it looks like I can acquire two of these pages overall. Okay, so we've completed two of the lore pages here. And if you click details on them, if you're interested in the lore, you can go through and read them after you have acquired them. Okay, so we're about to talk to Eva Levante again after the pages. Make sure you have one inventory space in your second weapon slot because you will receive this weapon. So we get this Jurassic Green Pulse Rifle. And we also get an emblem. And seemingly we have completed the quest. And now we can start to progress with our rewards in the Festival of the Lost. I hope this video helped. If it did, consider checking out the playlist linked on screen now or in the description for a ton more of Destiny 2 Festival of the Lost videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.